If Rosa Parks could have called a press conference, it would have looked something like this. No, no, leave him, leave him alone. On Tuesday afternoon, six Palestinian activists, calling themselves the Freedom Riders, attempted to travel on an Israeli bus headed to Jerusalem as part of a political stunt carried out in front of nearly 100 journalists. The riders said the demonstration was supposed to highlight the restrictions placed on Palestinians living in the West Bank that don't exist for Israelis. You know, they carry on their lives uh, with all kind of ease while we're forced to jump through be able to make certain travel and so good they, they should be disrupted they should see that they, what what they are and what they're doing is not acceptable Palestinians are allowed to travel on Israeli buses within the West Bank although they cannot travel across the green line into Israel nor into certain settlements without attaining the proper permits ahead of time and buses that arrive at checkpoints into Israel are inspected by border police who look for Palestinians who don't have permission to cross into Israel in the event we are allowed to ride the bus without incident at the checkpoint that goes into Jerusalem, we could be forcefully dragged off at that point because we don't have these so-called permits that Israel uh, demands from Palestinians as a way of restricting our movement. The six Palestinian riders boarded an Israeli Agad bus near the Kochat Yaakov settlement, the last stop on the bus line before Jerusalem. After a 20-minute ride towards the Jerusalem border, Police stopped and boarded the bus, as usual, by the Chizmet checkpoint, although they were already aware of an unusual circumstance because of the dozens of journalists on and surrounding the vehicle. This is my ID. One of the Buddhist reporter he came here and he asked about a permit and if we have a permit we told them we not need to uh, to have a permit to exist here and to use a bus here as settlers they are because settlers they are here and you didn't ask them about the permit here so we are the same. The Palestinian freedom riders ignored the request of the police to get off the bus and return to the West Bank and Israeli passengers were let off angered by the delay before the bus carrying the six Palestinians was taken to a nearby vacant parking lot under police supervision. At the parking lot, the police negotiated with the six Palestinians in a last effort to convince them to walk off the bus. Please don't talk to me. Ma? Don't talk to you? Yes. He, uh, he was asking me to leave the bus and uh, he was negotiating me to leave the bus uh, peacefully before we are use the force with you. I told him I am have the right to exist in this bus and I am also have the right to the freedom of movement to use this is a right to use a bus here. After an hour of waiting at the parking lot, one of the Palestinian freedom riders walked off the bus after being threatened with arrest, while the other five were dragged forcefully out of their seats and into the back of police vehicles. Police spokesman Mickey Rosenfeld said that the six activists are still being held for questioning as of Tuesday night. And he further called the incident provocative and said it could have been avoided. While the stated goal of the Freedom Riders to reach Jerusalem was clearly a failure, the dozens of news pieces covering the short trip of the six activists attest to their real success. And hopefully it'll end while we're in Jerusalem, at least today, but this doesn't end. And, they, and that's the message, it doesn't end until the uh, Israel's colonial apartheid regime is dismantled, because it cannot go on. It is the barrier to peace in the region. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post. What are you doing?